Well, that run on stream didn't turn out very well, so I decided to do another one, and I'm picking up right in the cavern after I got the 60 kills. I think it's a good uh, arbitrary time to start up again, knowing at least it's going to be moderately more successful than what I was doing. Ah, you know, streams, streams, they take, uh, they take a certain amount of concentration, not only just on actually playing the game, but also on trying to talk, too. Videos are a little bit nicer in some ways. Well, you don't get that good, good audience interaction. Well, anyway, that's neither here nor there. This weapon is still very good, and provided that I'm not dying to a curse, I think that you'll see that uh, very obviously, especially now that I have nearly... Oh, so close. Especially now that I have nearly uh, 30 brutality, and probably will by the time I get to the giant. Would have been nice if I had that great... If I had that great turret at the same time, since the giant is very, very well countered by a good turret. But I am currently rocking the flamethrower turret with an inflammable oil, which does actually hit the giant. I kind of had my doubts, and I didn't really say anything during the last run when I was using that. But it does seem like if you're going to be taking brutality, this is the way to do it. If you're going to be taking the brutality to the giant, this is going to be the way to do it. Well, whatever. I already got the 60 kills. I got that sweet, sweet golden skull in the bottom right corner. That's the only thing that... Actually, it's not golden right now. What? <laughs> well, I definitely got the 60 kills, okay? That's 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 not a, it's not a big deal. I mean, I purposely started up the recording when I got the 60... Well, now I'm having a crisis of uh, faith here. Oh, well. I don't need... The extra items, it's just, the stuff right before you get into the Guardian's Haven is some of the most powerful items that you can possibly get. Which is why I would have liked that maybe over any other cell door that I could possibly manage to find. Wow, that was close. And that's why you don't just pick up food wantonly when you have uh, alienation. I mean, sure, sure, I would like a little bit of healing and everything like that, but God, do I not want to deal with a curse. Curses are still the major way that I die in 5-cell mode now. Even with the best runs. The best runs can be taken down by a single curse. And that's frustrating, but hey, that's the game. I mean, as much as I bellyache about uh, how much I don't like perfect play, I still like this game enough to... Yeah. God... Uh, do it. <laughs> I guess that's the way to say it. All right, come on now. Now the question though is after the giant fight, am I going to go for immediate immediately go to the hand of the king or go through the castle? I mean, I guess this is uh, something of a truncated episode due to the way that it is. Did not need to use my wave denial, but uh it's kind of a truncated episode due to the way that I'm picking up super late in it, but, ah, man, I don't know. I'd like something better than that. Maybe I'll, uh, extend it a little bit by going into the castle. It's also gonna give me a lot more opportunity to get more stats and everything, too, which is never a bad thing. I mean, I'd say that if there was a type of, uh, weapon that's going to be getting me a perfect final boss kill, this is probably most likely. It's either that or some sort of super, super powerful... Uh, I still got clipped right in the back there. Some sort of super, super powerful tactics run. They can just blitz through phases before I can even get hit one time. Of course, that's still... That's still some pretty wishful thinking if I... Oh, I might actually go grab that heavy grenade. Still pretty wishful thinking, because uh, final boss fight is quite the endurance one. You can just drop right down here. What do you got? Uh, I don't really need the wave of denial as a thing. Wave of denial, sure, is, is, is fine, but... I, I guess, really, against the giant, it is going to be better than the bomb in a lot of ways, because the giant shoots out a lot of projectiles that can all be reflected right back at him. Like he's Kirby or something. And I can probably get a decent amount of damage out of that alone. But I, I don't know. I would rather have something that's a little bit more powerful and less defensive with the occasional powerful moments. I mean, hey, it is nice to have a colorless version of Wave of Denial, but 
<laughs> if I was going to choose between that and getting a, getting a good turret, I mean, the, the choice, th there is no choice. It would be the turret. So much nicer. Oh, well, who knows? Same thing with the Hand of the King. I mean, he drops a lot of bombs at specific points rather than during a lot of his phases like the... Because hmm? I would like to kill you and see if I can't get... That was kind of weird. Uh, better necklace, perhaps? One that has brutality on it, which is kind of what I would be looking for right now. Oh, this is the point in time that I'm actually thinking about going and picking up a piece of food. Yes, this is much better. And also 75% damage reduction on projectiles. That's that's always a good get. That's always a something that I like to see. Because that sort of defensiveness is pretty important to me. Okay, if I don't attract the attention of any of those guys, I can go back and I can grab that chunk of watermelon, come here, and hopefully clear-cut my way through enemies with no problem. There's also quite a few down here, although I really don't want to deal with that Arbiter. I mean, I actually probably don't need to deal with that Arbiter. And get some good usage out of the head rune, which I neglect so much. I just sneak right in there, take him out. It's a good thing that I did that right now before I took the food, because then I wouldn't have had the ability to use the homunculus rune. Ah, fishing, it was just too powerful. Too good for this sinful world. <laughs> and the motion to win that, take it out. Along with uh, moving around stuff with your homunculus, moving around turrets with your homunculus, homunculus rune, and... I don't know, just a lot of really great weapon synergies. Motion Twin, come on, give me something here. Well, I guess they gave me this build in particular, which is still... Oh, was this really the last time that I threw down a flamethrower turret? Huh. Feels like... Feels like it was sooner than that. I mean, one of the great things about the flamethrower turret that I had uh, mentioned to me that I never said anything about is the fact that it only has a six second cooldown. You can spam this thing for just about every single encounter unless you're really, really blowing through the game. I mean, you would have to be going extremely quickly. Even if, uh, you know, bosses destroy this thing, you can put it out almost immediately again. That and the fact that I'm working with a... currently doing a damage over time style of build. The huge amount of fire damage is synergizing with it quite well. Let's not even deal with that. I don't think I'll, I'll leave him to his business until I want to go get some of those, uh... Until I want to go get some of that, uh... Mm -mm. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I, I, I saw that, and I'm like, I bet that... And those guys got big pole ranges, as I learned the hard way. Yeah, it's sad with that sort of thing, not even a big deal. So, should heal up, should be fine on malaise then after this. Just got to just, just really, really be careful. Like, oh my god, you don't even... Like, you thought you knew the definition of the word careful. It's like, you just watch me do this. And I knew it. Maybe just pull each one of those guys individually at this rate. Oh, okay, that works too. I, I guess some biters got down there. Whatever, I'll, I'll take anything at this point in time, especially after the embarrassment that was dying to the demons previously. It's like, it's anything. Okay, not quite at full health, though, which is a little bit disappointing, but I'm not going to argue with it, certainly. Okay, yeah, I can easily get one more point of brutality if I dip down to this area. Now throw me at 31. Pretty good for this point in the game, and it's only going to get more going through the castle. Yeah, always remember that good builds are not the same as overpowered builds. This is just a very good build. You're still, you're not impervious to harm. Dead Cells does not have that sort of scaling like a lot of other, you know, similar games of the genre. Will you just, am I out of arrows or something? I am. Okay, well, that would explain that. I was trying to knock him out of the air by hitting him with the Hokuto's bow, but it wasn't really, uh, wasn't doing it. Yeah, Dead Cells is a very different game in the way that it doesn't really ball out of control in the same way that you get with, uh, I don't know, you know, Isaac's Undermines that I've been playing a lot. Even stuff like Noita can have some, some pretty great scaling over time. 
But it's like dead cells, nah, nah, nah. There's a certain amount where... There's a certain point where you really just gotta play well. And unfortunately, it's like you can't luck into e even the most powerful items. You're never that safe. That's what I always say with this game. You ain't ever safe. Don't think that you're invincible. That sort of thing leads to... Yeah, I think we're done. We're done. Overconfidence. As we know with overconfidence. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> not again. I've done it too many times already. Alright, let's go. God, I hope I got that 60 kills. Because I would love to get a... Upgrade for the alchemic carbine right now. I'm still working with only a 200%. Yeah, okay, great. 200%. It's like if you want to. I mean, oh, well. Uh, you, you know what? I might just end up. Also, wouldn't be terrible, but I like the 75% damage reduction. Yeah, wave of denial. I was just saying, it's like, yeah, it's good, but I can do better than that. And I do think that lacerating aura. Yeah, it does take away a little bit of the huge range that I have with the carbine, because you do have to be pretty close. But, yeah, I don't know. I think that... No, no, no. I need the 100% on poison. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I think I think that's a good mix-up of stuff. And... At, uh, I, this... This part of the game is not going to have a whole lot of cursed chests. I do still want you... But I think that, yeah, we're just going to take Masochist. That's always a pretty good bet in this fight. And, God, I don't know. I mean, just Soldier's Endurance for a huge amount of... Not a whole lot of the Brutality Mutations support doing ranged Brutality runs. So I think Soldier's Endurance is going to be the best I get. Combo is actually pretty good because it adds a huge amount of damage to the initial hit of the Alchemic Carbine, the one that does the... 3167 DPS. But it doesn't affect the poison, but at least you can just get a lot of extra damage out of that. I don't think that's that matters though. Okay. All right, good start. Now what I would like to do is I would like to get my uh, Hokuto's bow working again. I probably want to keep at least like one point of ammo for that after all. Alright. Not looking too shabby at all. Yeah, great. And I guess I'll throw that on there too. Oh, duh. damn it. I was really hoping that he was going to get... Ah, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I was hoping that I was going to do enough damage that it wouldn't... That I would have been out of that phase, but it uh, didn't really happen that way. No perfect giant fight. Once again, I know. Crazy. Ooh. I mean, when, when, when was the last time that's happened, after all? It's a tough fight to perfect, especially with the crystals. Not that that's what I got hit by, but, you know. Good, good, good. And that it. Quite the powerful build. Oh, also, this is very nice. Because that flat 15% damage is going to go a long way, even though I'm not scaling with with survival. You get more out of, you get more out of high level tonics than you might think in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways. Okay, okay. Yeah, 14 minutes. Not going to, well, I mean, a half hour video. It's like, oh, who could imagine a, a half hour video? I mean, I, like, that's, it, it, it is, it is literally impossible for me to even conceive of such a notion. <laughs> no, let's just get into the castle. Still make this a good chunky one, regardless of the fact that it's starting so late. I actually like doing the, the episodes kind of this far into it, because it, uh, it means that I have, I'm a lot more sure of my run, and I'm not going to die to something really stupid. You know, it's really, uh... Wow, that's an interesting get. I mean, I would like... I, I would actually very much like that, but I'm not going to take it. No, no, no. That's not... I, just, I, I have both of my main hands kind of... Kind of used up right now. Besides, the... It's not like the... Th that... 
a legendary rampart is really all that much more powerful than a regular rampart. It, the, the major thing you want out of that weapon works independently for any sort of stat scaling. The invincibility is not dependent on survival, at least for now. Motion Twin. <laughs> but, uh, still, it's like, you know, it's also a legendary item. Carries three stats on it, which isn't too bad. Does a lot of other nice stuff in the form of just being a shield. You know, something you can... Parries just alone can be pretty powerful. Okay, we good? And yeah, I'll just take you out. Last Riding Aura is also going to be very nice for... Kind of stopping... Uh, yeah, I guess I might as well. Uh, Last Riding Aura is going to be nice for kind of halting demons in their tracks as well. And yeah, I'm definitely going for all three of the keys. This ain't going to be a 40 Brutality run. I didn't get any... I mean, what's... For, mu for multiple reasons, but I also didn't get any uh, of the floor runes around here that would kind of facilitate doing that. Yeah, it's hard to do that naturally, but the fact that I'm probably not going to be re-rolling my flamethrower turret or my lacerating aura, it would be very much dependent on getting, you know, four brutality necklace and a couple... A couple uh, extra bonus stats from... Gonna other stuff around here. Okay, not even worried about you. You know, when doing this run, I did see a Hokuto's bow that had a Toxic Cloud on. Come on now. That had Toxic Cloud on uh, on hit, which would, which I was thinking it's like, wow, I should take that, but then I'm like, well, what's even the point of you using this? I mean, yeah, the only thing that you can get that's even better than a you know, Kemic Carbine a Hokuto's Bow is just some way to get poison directly on the Hokuto's Bow. It's like a two-in-one special. Of course, you know, to say you can't expect that is putting it lightly. It is, it is a quite rare thing. And I should probably, I mean, I'm looking at this right now. I'm thinking that I should probably just take a potion charge I got three of them I'll have three of them left and it's not like I'm losing a whole ton by doing that it's kind of ensuring my own survival yeah yeah might have wanted to like wait until I got hurt a little bit more so that I wasn't fully healing but I yeah whatever it's fine you'd lose so quickly you ain't ever safe in dead cells you ain't ever safe that's a big thing and I do not want to tempt fate anymore, knowing how often that comes back to bite me. <laughs> which is extremely often, in fact. Okay, good, good. Got rid of the Royal Guard. Which, more than anything else, I feel like Castle, yeah, the Royal Guard's really, really the one that is uh, being the troublesome fellow more often than not. Demons then coming in in close second. And everything else. <laughs> because there's a lot of very tough enemies here, regardless of, you know, the special ones or not. Oh, good. I'm actually right at the end. But the question is, do I want to explore around a little bit more? Because I'm pretty sure that I can get at least one more stat. Sure, sure, sure. I'm happy to see that I did manage to... I probably should have kept that <laughs> for extra healing. Uh, well... Hindsight and the year is 2020. Yeah, I'll see if I can't get an Explorer's Rune proc. I'm sure that through the, the scroll fragments alone, I can probably grab one more stat. I'll take what I can get. Yeah, Corrupted Power is nice and everything, but I can't imagine that the damage is really going to compare to the Flamethrower turret. Or maybe it does. I mean, with that Flamethrower turret, I was getting a good amount of damage off of one of the affixes, specifically the one that gave me... Get over here. What did you even do? What did you even do? <laughs> what even happened? Oh man, do I want this? Yeah, you know what? I do. Sure, less stats overall, but more main stats. I, like, what even happened there? 
It's like it fell through the floor or something when I stopped looking at it. Which might have been what happened. <laughs> well, well, I'm not gonna... No, no reason to dwell on the past, especially... Uh, you know, gift horse in mouth, etc. Whoa, I thought I was gonna get hit there, like a lot. Oh, please. I knew exploring around here was gonna be worth it. For multiple reasons, really, at this point. And Castle still has a lot of goodies in it, even if you're... Even if you're uh, already set as far as keys and the like go. You can still find a lot more. I feel like it doesn't really have as many stats as... Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. I, I feel like it doesn't really have as many stats as like a lot of comparable areas, but it still does have stats. He, well, certainly more... It, it certainly has more stats than it used to, because the, with the whole... I, I guess I can't really say that with absolute certainty. That's just what it feels like. Yeah, there we go. Good combo. Hmm? Okay. I was about to be attacked by something, but the many particle effects that I had set around there took care of it, whatever it was. There we go. Alright, a little bit of extra gold. Some chests. I think I am clear to go. But yeah, with the, with the re, rebalancing of a lot of the... Yeah, yeah. With the rebalancing of a lot of the stuff that uh, has... Uh, Happened in the last couple patches. I think they might have added a couple more scrolls to the to the castle. Or they added less scrolls to some specific areas, which made it feel more balanced. I have absolutely no proof of this, just a gut feeling. Alright, let's I mean Hand of the King is pretty well countered by a Yeah. Eh, 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 of course. Well, just think of it as more health. Hand of the King is pretty well countered by a damage over time build. Can't block that, alchem uh, that alchemic carbine hit, after all. Well, he can, but he'll still take the damage from, from poison. Still explodes into poison. <laughs> and I only need so many Hokuto's bows hit bow hits. Regardless of how often I'm going to use it. Which is far more than I need to. And no perfect fight for here, either. Ah, I just can't win. And I mean, that's my own fault, but still. Oh, well, that was, yeah, that was pretty fast. As you can see, it is a good combo to be using. And that's also a good combo when you got that last rating aura. I mean, it's a lot of a... Much like the... Death Orb, it's a lot of small hits. And those small hits are getting buffed up by the Hokuto's bow, which is what makes it a pretty good combination. A pretty good companion piece. To that weapon. And this is technically the Alchemic Carbine Hokuto's bow showcase, but... I would almost say it really is just the, the Hokuto's bow. It is very good. Getting any form of poison is going to be buffed up a lot, as you saw with the... Yeah, I was just talking about the just the... The flamethrower turret having the release of Toxic Cloud when deployed. It's like that, that alone was enough to deal a lot of damage to the giant last time, for example. Just all the bombers immediately. Great. But yeah, d despite all of the many, many changes that have happened with Dead Cells over the years, or at least since the Alchemic Carbine and Hokuto's bow was revealed to me as being as amazing as it is, it's like it still has remained very good. Kind of surprised me because there's a lot of, uh, you know, favorites not only for myself, but for a lot of people for, for doing runs that uh, Motion Twin has shot down like crazy, but this one's still sticking around. 
All right. I mean, the, the alienation acceptance combo might have been good for this area again, because I don't know. I don't know how many hits I'm going to be able to take. Even if I am quite tanky, and I am, it still feels like it's only a matter of time before, you know, I just take one big salvo from the librarian right there. Okay, he didn't actually attack me. <laughs> and then I'm down to nothing. Because more often than not, that's the reason why I lose damage in this area, after all. You have quite a bit of trouble with those tiny bookish fellows. Oh well, as long as I can just grab the two keys and get out of here as fast as possible, that's that's really the only thing that matters. Great. Elevator key. Just gotta go grab that alien key and get out of here. I'm not too worried about doing a full clear of this area. Again, does have a few stats, but I don't... I think it's like literally maybe one or two stats floating around. Most of the other stuff I'm going to get through grabbing... Uh, grabbing the... Necklaces, perhaps. Perhaps right now, that's... Yeah, I, yeah, I guess it's okay. No effect, gold as well as a cell. I mean, I don't know. I think I just kind of want to keep the 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 more stat heavy thing, even if it has less stats. The more main stat heavy necklace, even if it has less stats. And what do you got? Anything? Yeah, yeah. They're both pretty good, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford that. And by I don't know, I mean I'm absolutely not going to be able to afford that by the end of this. As much as I'll, I will I try to get cash money in this area, even doing stuff like full clears is going to get me nada. All right. Well, last writing where I should take care of him. Good. Oh, just the bomber right here. That's, that's what... Yeah, that's what screwed me up. I would have just... I had a fine combination of... If I had a fine combo there. But that bomber hitting me made me throw it all away. It's hard to judge sometimes the exact hitboxes of these enemies. Or, not hitboxes, but pole ranges. Good, good, good. Uh, hope those bows didn't always used to spread the, the mark like that. I mean, it makes me wonder, it's like if I, if I found out that the damage over time combo was so good, would motion twin... Well, well, I mean, if it was more widely known how good the damage over time combo is, if motion twin would have actually changed it to get a little bit more... To get a little bit more usage out of it, you know, with the whole mark spreading as an enemy dies. Or if they would have just kept it as it was, because, well, it's great for the one thing it does, which is... The one thing it does really well, which is just buff up damage. Well, it has changed to this now, so... They can't take it away. They absolutely can, but I assume they won't. Right? Maybe? <laughs> Scroll fragment is really what I'm looking for. There is one in here. I think maybe making this the first 5-cell mode... 5-cell difficulty... Uh, run that I've had that has actually had an amount of scrolls divisible by four in it. Maybe I just missed one at some point in time, which almost seems more likely. Because this ain't ever happened before. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, I'm very happy to see that that Librarian didn't start to hit me because I just, the fact that I hit him through a wall is kind of ridiculous. I do say so. Dodging creates toxic cloud. I mean, that's uh, thematically appropriate for the run. I'll say that. <laughs> but not something that I'm going to be taking. Nah, nah, nah. 35, maybe top out at 36 if Alchemic Carbine wants to work with me. 
37 if I get very lucky, which I have not been so far. And then, uh, yeah. Finish up this funky fresh run. I'm not going to take another potion charge right yet because... Yeah, sure. Because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up taking Tainted Flask, uh, Corrupted Healing, and then right at the start of the final boss fight... Yeah, right at the start of the final boss fight, you get a big old buff going on. And then use that to kind of fuel the first part of the fight. Should be able to cycle him through his phases very quickly with the amount of damage I'm going to be outputting. Even more damage if I do happen to... Okay, thank God. If I do happen to... Uh re-roll the alchemic carbide in the way that I'm looking for it. No guarantees. I'm sure glad that I didn't get hit by that defender there. I mean, he can whack you with the protector. It's That is a very embarrassing uh, hit to take. I have, of course, taken it many a time. As, as you would expect. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And throw on everything. There you go. I'd say that's looking pretty good. I actually would like that tonic for that little bit of healing, but I'm not gonna go and get that. I'm not gonna go and get that the the keys and everything required to actually get up there. That's ridiculous. Okay, I'll take it. Whatever. That's that's enough. That is enough. Besides, I do need to save some money for this, and I will take. I mean, I don't think I'm going to have too much problem with health. So I'm just going to take that inside, but then disengagement. And that will... That'll be a good start because I'll be able to... Worst comes to worst, I'll be able to heal up easily, get that big buff. And I still have a decent amount of health to, to support me in my time of need. Let's go. Of course, you know, things go really well. It doesn't do it perfectly. <laughs> but I cannot expect that. Can't expect that. And I'm I'm only too aware of that. I don't even know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> It's the nerves, man. The nerves get to you. And then you're just like, I don't know how to dodge things. And then you stop being able to play the game. At all. Like, not even good. You just stop playing the game. Paralyzed with fear, I suppose, is the, is the normal way someone would put that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go right into the final phase. Here, I'll also take a quick sippy myself. Yeah, I know how to dodge these attacks, by the way. <sighs> the Hulk does, Bo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, still a great combination of items. Still highly recommended for any cell difficulty. Very easy ones to get to. It's a great combo. Highly recommended. 